guys. Today's tutorial is going to be at movable blocks from a bird's eye view, top down perspective. This is going to be, oh, well, movable blocks. So, so you're able to push them around with your player and manipulate their x, y values and such and such. I made a tutorial a little, a little while back about how to do this in a platformer type game, and the difference is that this is that since when well, that's only in two directions, this one will be in four directions. So it's slightly more complicated. So it, I don't, don't remember how, who this was requested by, but it was requested a little several months back by somebody, but I don't, I don't remember who. I couldn't find who. Anyway, I anyway for, for, with that, let's move on to the tutorial. See you guys later. See you guys there. Alright, so for this tutorial, start off making two sprites. First one SPR player, second one SPR block. So this block is going to be moving and the player is what we're going to be controlling. So we're going to create an object for both of them. So obj player, and set the sprite. And then we're going to create another object for the obj block. obj block, set the sprite. And now for obj player, we're going to jump into the step event and we're going to add the code for the basic movement. So first off, we'll start with the up, up arrow. So if keyboard check VK up. When we press the up, up button, we want it to move upwards. So we're going to say V speed equals negative 4. Not 64, negative 4. 4. 4. There we go. So um, generally, when I do something like this, I, I say y minus equals 4. Um, and later on, we're going to say ha we hit the block. We want the block to have the same speed as us, so I need to use V speed rather than just simply changing the Y value because that way we can transfer over the speed to the block and have move at the same speed. So that's just a different way of doing it that accomplishes the same goal basically. So now I'm going to take this code and copy it three more times because three other direction three other directions we want to code it for. So first one is down, so type on VK down and make it a positive four and then I'm going to say left, which is H speed in the horizontal direction, not the vertical direction, so H speed equals negative four. And now I'm going to go for right, which is also H speed, and it's going to equal positive 4. So now, um, there's another thing we need to check for. So now when we press the button, it'll start moving, but when we release the button, it'll keep moving. So we're going to. <clears throat> so now we're going to create another if statement to decide when H speed is equal to 0 and when V speed should be equal to 0. So if we're not pressing left or right keys, we want it to stop moving in the horizontal direction. So where we're going to say that is if exclamation mark very important keyboard check vk right and keyboard check vk left and then h speed equals zero. So if I would read this out, if we're not pressing the right key and we're not pressing the left key, make the horizontal speed zero. So the exclamation part basically negates the function. So instead of this being true when we're pressing left key, it'll become true when we're not pressing left key. So we're going to go ahead and copy that line and and down here we're gonna make a very similar one, only this one will be covered the covering the vertical speed. So instead of right if I type in up, instead of left, we're gonna type down, down, and instead of H speed we can type down B speed, vertical direction speed. Alright, now we've already got our OBD block object, now we're going to code what happens when we collide with it. So, we're going to transfer our speed over, we're going to make sure that the block is going the same speed as us to give the illusion that we're pushing it. So the way we would do that, it would, we could say other dot h speed is equal to our h speed. Oh. Other is a keyword using GameMaker that represents the other object interacting with this collision. So in this collision, we're we're re reacting with it, interacting with it, and OBJ block is also acting in the collision. So this is the the specific block that's acting in our collision. So and another line we can use other dot v speed is equal to v speed, and v speed is spelled with two e's. So this line will change its v speed equal to r v speed, and this line oh sorry. This line will change its h speed equal to r h speed, and this line will change its v speed equal to r v sp our v speed. Now, for in, the way we want this to work is we want to use either one or the other. If we're pushing it on the left or right side, we want the, 
We want this code to occur, and if pushing uh, the up, bo up uh, top or bottom side, we want this code to occur. So the way we're going to go through that is, um, th uh, I thought it through this way. Think if you're pushing from left to right side, the difference between the x values of, of you and the block is a whole lot bigger than the difference in the y values. And vice versa, if you're pushing from the top or bottom side, the difference of in, the, in the y values is a lot bigger than the x values. So we're going to find out the difference in the x values that would be represented by abs x minus other dot x. x minus other dot x is our x minus the blocks x. And I'm take the absolute value so that I can have just one value and it won't be negative. And then I can find the difference in y's by doing something similar, abs y minus other dot y. Okay. So if the difference in the x's is greater than, if the difference in the x's is greater than the difference in the y's, then we can conclude that we're pushing it from the left to right side and we want the h speed to be equal to or its h speed to be equal to our h speed and then otherwise if that's not the case then we want then we'll, we can assume that we're pushing it from the top and bottom so we want its v speed to be equal to our v speed now there's one more thing we need to check for so the code we just went through will get, get our block moving but we would need to stop again once we're not hitting it. So in the step event of our, our block, we're going to check if we're not colliding with the player. So if place meeting x y o j player, this will be true when we're not um, when the, our block isn't colliding with the player. So when it's not touching the player, we want speed to be equal to zero. Okay. I'll go into our room and I'm going to create a few blocks. Now I'll put our player right in the middle of it. I'm so excited. This is the first one that's going to be below 10 minutes. It's going to be below 10 minutes, I'm telling you. Alright, so, will the player move with it? I want to. Yes, it will. Will the blocks move? No, they won't. No worries, I think I know why. I need to make it solid, I believe, is the problem. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's try this again. Yes, there we go. Um, they move, move, but they keep moving. I thought we had that fixed. I guess not. Alright, let's go back and see if I what I did wrong. Hmm. It's very weird. Oh. One second. This says if we're colliding with the player, it says equal to zero. That's not right. We want speed to be zero when we're not colliding with the player. So put the exclamation part one point in front of it, and that should fix all our problems. It's kind of funny how little symbols can affect make such a big difference in our code. All right. Now if we push it, it works perfectly. All right, there we go. Very smooth. Quite. Ha I was quite happy with how the smooth this turned out. Anyway, I hope you. Um, I hope you found this helpful. Um, if if you did, you're wel you're welcome to rate, comment, subscribe. That will really help out my channel, and that way I, I can still be motivated to make more of these. And um, yeah, number one thing is that you found it helpful, and I guess I'll see you guys next tutorial.